What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Ruggle, here with the candy lover himself, Sig. As you may guess, it's almost Valentine's Day. We have next week, next Wednesday, as I'm doing it on February 6th. We were talking a little bit earlier, as I think, as one of all candy or all holidays out there, Valentine's Day has probably the worst. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Kind of candy, period. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> Oh yeah, six here too. I to see this is how fucking mad I am about it. I went to Walgreens and I just grabbed some medicine for for somebody in the house that's not feeling well. And I was told to not get something, but I went and got it anyways. And I was like, oh, I'm at Walgreens doing a podcast night. I don't have any candy or anything. And as you can see, I still don't have anything because Valentine's Day candy sucks. Hey, I bought beef jerky. It didn't last you, through the day. I ate, I ate it all. <laughs> <laughs> On the car ride back? <laughs> no, I got home. Well, after lunch time, I was like, oh man, I'm really hungry. And I tried the High V Brands Craven. I was like, I haven't had this. They were on sale for $2. So I picked up a couple bags. I was like, oh, these are really good. Next time I went, I had no snacks for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I ate my snacks for the night. Okay, I will agree. Craven, Craven is hit or miss. Mm-hmm. The chips are decent. I haven't had the jerky. They're frozen, oh, like the, the, the frozen jerky's stuff. good. I, I do not like the frozen stuff. I had their mozzarella sticks, and they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, don't like them. I will try the. I will try the jerky though. But like I said, candy. Now, I'm surprised you keep going away from it as much as a little kid as you are. The candy for Valentine's Day with a little kid, like shit. a hard Mountain Dew, watermelon edition. Yes, you twelve-year-old hillbilly. Yes, you would. You can't, you can't even try an act like that because, yeah, that's what they're bored drinking now. Now that it's out, straight to the bottle. I'm going to try the Arizona part. Oh, those look good. I just saw the flavors. Oh, I, yeah, I told you they fucking had it. I, no, no, thank you. I will try it when they come to my area or Missouri or Iowa when I have to drive. <laughs> you're not going to get them. You didn't get Mountain Dew. You're not getting the Arizona teas. Nope. No. You'll get the knockoffs. <laughs> New Mexico tea. Uh, Kansas Creek water. Probably tastes better than Arizona's water. But anyways. <laughs> yes, I will I will give it to you. How, that Valentine's as a whole, one. I don't I think we've covered it before. I'm gonna have to probably refresh my memory. We don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Like my wife and I have never celebrated because it's just one of those like stupid fucking one off holidays. And this isn't like it's commercial. It's all about profits. It's all, it's all no, I know. It's just it's. We discussed it's it. It's a dumb fucking holiday. Well, I well, we we discussed it. Like my wife had discussed it very early on in our relationship. That is just one of those holidays that kind of is a clean slate, as we call it, where you can be mm-hmm. shitty to each other all year, but then Valentine's you're like, look at me. Oh, he took me on a date. Oh, she's being so nice. Like I, we don't give a fuck. We treat each other nicely and respectfully all year round. That Valentine's Day is just another Valentine's Day. Yeah, and the day we don't go out because uh, can't get a fucking place anywhere. Even at McDonald's, oh, yeah. you can't sit down anywhere because everything's fucking packed. All the college kids, all the adults, just like, fuck off. Thank God I'm introverted. But DoorDash, I always make a lot of money on DoorDash on Valentine's Day. Oh, I bet. But it is one of the shittiest seasonal candies and not just candies like items whether candy or toys or treats or squishmallows or funkos whatever they're just the subpar of the subpar of the bottom of the barrel like they're shit and it's funny you actually mentioned this i didn't tell you this earlier so there's no way you could have known but my parents sent my kids a valentine's day gift and a very, very late birthday present for my son, whose birthday was five months ago, four and a half months ago. You know, it got lost in the mail. It made it with the Valentine's. They sent it ahead of time. They knew it was going to get lost. No, I got a text the other day saying I just sent this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, maybe I was. Ne- I was. Neither- I had her back for a second. Maybe. Neither. Don't you do that. Neither here nor there. <laughs> Neither here nor there. Anyways, so. They get this bag, this box, this box of uh, clothes for my son. 
And then Halloween can or not help sorry, Valentine's. Damn, that was, that's wild go too. But inside it had the traditional candy hearts. And the chalk ones? I, yeah. So I've never read the flavors of them. I I could tell you what they taste like, but I never knew they actually had like flavor names like Skittles do. Don't quite like candy I just had put in my mouth. Again, I could be drugged so easily. I could be kidnapped. If I was handsome or very well stacked, oh my God, I could be kidnapped and sold off into the market with a bag Thank of Skittles. The bag of Skittles. Just, here's your hard Mountain Dew. Here's your hard mice. That you have. <laughs> here's your bag of candy. So, I'm just saying. Hubert from Family Guy would have a heyday. But anyways... Uh, Herbert, sorry, not Hubert, Herbert. Hubert's Cleveland show. Anyways, they got them the, ch- the hearts. I read them. It's like wintergreen, cherry, lemon, lo- or lemon, grape, orange, and I left one out. But anyways, read them. I was like, wintergreen is legit. I thought it was just mint, but it's wintergreen. So it's like all t- like school products. Like Very much. <laughs> But my daughter comes in and she's like, she's like, look, look what grandma and grandpa sent. And I'm like, oh, that's nice of them. <laughs> look, I don't like this candy. This is a candy I won't touch. There's not many. This is a candy I won't touch. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they did she, it on purpose to make me mad. <laughs> so they're asking, can we have these candies? I was like, no, you can't have them. But I'm cooking. I'm literally cooking dinner. We're getting ready to have tacos and everything and which they wanted they asked for tacos guess what they didn't eat neither here nor there fuckers <sighs> welcome to having children anyways so after dinner daughter comes up with a box can i have these sure gave her one of each of the six flavors she pops the white one in it's clearly winter green and she just goes oh, i don't what like fuck that is this? i don't like that it's like yeah that's the no, mint one. <laughs> that's the mint one. My wife likes wintergreen, so she was okay with it. Because uh, that's her gum that she gets. But anyway, so she tries the other one and she likes them. She's like, these are so good. I was like, oh, I'm glad you like them. Because they sent you each like four or five boxes. And then sent them a giant Valentine's like gum, circular gummies with hearts on them on a stick. So there's three of them stacked on top of each other. And I'm just like, it's not even name brand. Like, I'm not one of those, like, I don't give a shit about name brand. But there are certain aspects about off-brand gummies that if they're not name brand, mm-hmm. they have a very, very either weird-ass texture. Or they, smell. Yep, or smell. Or very, very awkward taste. Like, it's not mm-hmm. bad, but it's definitely not good. You're just kind of saying, like, mm, do I want to swallow this? Mm, nope. Maybe. Mm. So anyways, so they got that. And they're like, can we try that? No. It's fucking 7 o'clock. You're going to bed in an hour. No, you're not getting that much candy. You can stick with the chalk. The hearts, sorry. So, yeah. Yeah, your kid walks in and goggles. <laughs> at 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> I love the little dude. <laughs> fucking nice. <Not> like <laughs> and what's funny is... uh. They've been asking for those swim goggles. Like, you know, I haven't been able to find them. Wanna know why? Because my son is hoarding them underneath his bed. <laughs> oh my. Which, which we'll get back to side note. Very off the road. Still candy. Um uh, had my son cleaning his room the other day. And I was like, okay, you pick up all the toys and everything. I'm gonna move your bed so where we can clean out underneath it. One. Um, I was cleaning off his bed just to get like all the toys because the dude sleeps with fucking entire toy chest in his in his bed. But anyways, so I threw everything on the floor, threw all the toys. I accidentally threw his pillow on the floor, and when I did, underneath his pillow, he had three to four packets of Welch's fruit snacks, unopened. So I was like, okay. So I take him, I say, I tell him, hey, but you gotta go put these back. Stop, stop sneaking food. Like, we don't restrict them with food. We don't really tell them no. If they're hungry, they're hungry. They get to eat. 
or not the household is like you can't eat that with the exception of sugar after seven because those fuckers don't go to sleep then but they get like yogurt after seven healthier snacks but anyway so see the three to four underneath this pillow i also went to go like pick his pillow up as i grab it i hear like foil like the crunch of i was like this son of a bitch so i take his pillow i rip the pillow out the pillowcase has five maybe six welch's gummy packets in it I was like, this dude i just thought they've been eating these fruit snacks because one we got from sam's club and so it's a big fucking box of like two three hundred whatever so god goddamn many of them so i thought they've been eating these because they just randomly been disappearing i was like oh cool good I need to get rid of them so i can get more snacks when we go to sam's and nope He's hoarding like a dozen just in the pillow region. I was like, all right, cool. Move his bed. Move his bed. And the moment I do, there's a box, an empty box <laughs> of Mike and Ike's that I bought for an episode, or not even an episode, for gaming probably like four or five weeks ago. And I remember opening them and I sit them on my desk. And that, like, that Thursday, I remember sitting them because they were the sour Mike and Ikes, sat them down, went and did my thing Friday, and just like totally spaced. I thought I ate them all, because normally I would. So I was like, okay, cool. And I, I was like, wait. I look and I was like, dude, did you take these from my office? No. All right, listen. One, don't lie to me, you little fucker. <laughs> the candy box is right here. Tell me the truth, or I'm never getting you candy an icy or slush you ain't eating anything sweet again <gasps> okay i took them um... i was like all right cool why'd you take my candy you have your own candy. like we have a plethora of your guys's candy <laughs> yours was better <laughs> why are you yours? taking my candy son it's my candy you don't touch know, right? my candy <laughs> their candy's right there by the door don't fucking touch my candy but <laughs> that, i also <laughs> But I also buy like super sour stuff because they don't like it. And I do. This little fucker took it. Uh, but then I also saw he took my wife's pack of gum. Here's the thing. There's no wrappers. And it's like sticks of gum. Wintergreen sticks of gum. And I'm just like, uh, where's the wrappers? That's my concern. I don't know. Did you eat the wrappers? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like I had to Google for a pack of gum to see if it was foil wrappers or just a paper wrapper. It's paper wrappers or whatever. You probably pooped them out. Socks. But again, found more empty fruit snack packs. I'm just like, oh, how do you know it sucks? Are you shitting out gum wrappers? Have you never tried paper before? I I don't like. Eat it that much where I know I'm shitting it out. I don't I don't go around eating paper, no. That's not Well, I don't thing. anymore. There was a childhood <laughs> Okay, well good to know. Yeah, that's not even the tip of the iceberg, yeah. You're you're in the back of the classroom shouting out on college rule paper, so okay. No, it wasn't college rule, no, no. It was like first grade, somebody's like, I dare you to eat paper, okay. I mean, so I think you dared where you kept doing it, or did you just acquire just that a once. taste for it? Just, just that once. Time? Yeah. Banging my head on the desk, that's a whole different issue in itself. <laughs> but, so, I was like, whatever. It's cool. Fine. I was like, this dude snuck so much fucking food into his room and hit it. And I told him, I was like, dude, you want know, like, the fruit snacks one? Like, I've been telling you for months. Yeah, go grab a fruit snack. I don't like them. I don't want them. Yeah, no shit you don't like them. You don't want them because you're eating them in the middle of the fucking goddamn night for a past month. So, yeah. Yeah, so I was just... That was my weekend, by the way. I just meant to text you that. Back on topic, though. Uh, yeah, Valentine's Day, just as a whole, shit. Shit candy. Mm -hmm. And there's no real candy for, like... Uh, St. Patrick's Day. 
I think that would have better candy than Valentine's. At least it'd all be green. You could repackage anything. Whole bag of green, green M and M's, green Skittles, green stuff. Like, okay, cool. Better than this chalky ass hearts. Yeah, no, I just like I walked through and and very well could have just been the selection that they had there, but normally they have a decent selection at the walk yeah. stuff that's that's there. But this was granted ninety percent of it was chocolate. I'm not a huge yeah. chocolate fan unless it's like Reese's cups or Reese's related. Then I then I like it. Reese's pieces. But that's like those are like low tier. Oh, that's not a trigger for you. Okay, cool. That's low tier. So I don't have right. a problem. With Hold on. Hold on. Hold you... on. Hold on. <laughs> Mountain Dew's kicking in. No. Hold on. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Oh. Reese's pieces are not low tier. Bullshit. They are too. You know, They're right you know next what's... to chocolate M Ms. Okay, no. One chocolate M Ms. You can't see like it's so fucking low. Reese's is like heads and heels above. Mm-mm. Two controversial statement. Reese's cups suck donkey dick unless they are the Halloween. Or the Christmas. Those are the only two that are somewhat palatable or suitable. The rest are shit. You eat word those originals. So your palate is shit anyways. Your choice in candy is obsolete at this point. When you sit there and have bags of word those originals. Ba- it was one. It was up. one. One. It was caramel chews. Shut your whore mouth. Okay. They were not the hard word those originals that you're making them out to be. They're still word those originals. It's a brand. That's still okay. the same thing. Well, you're still, you're still fucking eating. old and still fucking right. geriatric, and no one says shit to I'm you not except for me. I'm eating more those like you are, like your fucking Tic Tacs, just throwing them down your gullet. No. Uh-uh. Tic Tacs are better than Reese's. <laughs> no. No. And they're no, not even fucking no, candy. No. The rainbow well, one, the fruit salad. Yeah, yes, whatever. Yes, my kids are fucking candy. They're throwing them down quick. Look, they're, they are candy. Whoever thought it, they were not as stupid. Bad marketing. They're fucking candy. It's also gateway candy. Just saying. Pop the pills. <laughs> what? No? No one else heard that? <laughs> oh, okay, well, sure. Some of us I, had different childhoods. <laughs> it wasn't my childhood. No. That's, that's, no. that's the thing. It was Tic Tacs. I was sorting pixie sticks. So I guess we get No, whatever. look. Pixie sticks burned so fucking bad. Yeah, so bad. When you, when you went around and sneeze on somebody, it's like paintball. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> exactly. No, I had. Oh, what the fuck? It's fucking unicorn just the whole. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I had. I had a friend growing up whose mom and dad would not let them have tic tacs because they were pill shaped and they were deemed like it's a gateway drug that's how they viewed it it's also the same people that we couldn't have candy cigarettes at their house because you would get addicted to smoking cigarettes i was like one i've had both and i will still take candy cigarettes over a traditional tobacco cigarette because you want to know why candy doesn't make my mouth or my breath taste or smell like ass for the next 24 hours I'm not trying to cover it up which by the way if you try and cover up coke works wonder drink two of them and then go brush your teeth coca-cola not coke okay well, both will do <laughs> it make you forget you smoked i guess but I mean, if you eat too many of the candy cigarettes you're gonna walk around like a crackhead with a chocolate chocolate ring around your lips yeah you sit there going so good I was sucking my gums. Hold on. There you go. Oh. Rub it. <laughs> hmm. You can't tell me you didn't take the candy cigarettes at some we point. You'd be like, oh, yeah, no, so cool. Did. Well, that then we had when the, our, uh, our state fair came around, the little prank or uh, prank toys, like with what we could oh, like that, yeah. the smoking cigarette, the ones that you would blow in and the smoke would puff out of it. Yeah. That's pretty much the dust that would come out of them. Yeah, those were. We had we all had those. Yeah, yeah. We, they didn't make it home, but we had them. My man at home, and then they got thrown away in the trash. Yeah, we knew it was gonna get thrown away, so we didn't make it home. Ended up in the trash before we walked in the door. It lasted yeah. like 
it lasted a bit until they caught us outside. I was like, watch this. <laughs> but I will, I will say, because I've done the stupid pixie chick, the pixie stick challenge. This is why I don't drink my speech impediment it comes out so quickly. The pixie stick challenge, or at least it was a challenge in like, I think it was like 03 or 04 type, but it started with you just take pixie sticks and you snort it, typically using the stick it came in. I will never forget that. Oh, who was it? A surrounding school. I won't give details in case he, they hold a specific, like a special power in that company. I won't give more <laughs> details than needed. There was a surrounding school growing up that they quote, elevated the game from pixie sticks to crush smarties. Mm -hmm. Pixie sticks ain't got nothing on smarties. Just say they hurt. <laughs> The fact, that none, the fact that none of us died from this with like a, bla a brain bleed issue type thing or brain barrier just, just fucking amazing speaks volumes for our stupidity but we had a kid who he would snort anything possible you just had to grind it up and here's the thing is like where my lunchroom was at was just right by the home ec room which was always free to use. So if you brought sack lunch and you need to go heat up, you could go use the microwave or you could use the oven if you wanted to. Like you could just go in the home ec room. And he wanted to try something and a fellow football player was like, gotcha, bet. Here's some Skittles. And that dude went into a blender and pulverized Skittles. It wasn't dust. I don't know if you've tried. You can't pulverize Skittles very well, especially back then with those type Shoot. of blenders. Uh, they do get dust-like, but not powder, just like a really chunky dust. This mm -hmm. kid snorted it, and it was so bad that you could tell that the tubes are right next to each other in the back of the throat. He snorted it, and by the time he got to the back of his throat, he went... <coughs> And it hacked it all up, and there's all the skittles. <laughs> and they were chunky. And he's like, oh, it burns so bad. Okay. Yeah. No shit. No, I think Pixie Six is where we drew the line. We did do Smarties. So Pixie Six Smarties, I think we drew the line at, at all that stuff. I don't think we did anything else. We <laughs> Nice joke. Drew the line. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Dead joke. I think it's already stopped. I don't think it was anywhere past that, so. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty, pretty tame. We weren't, uh, we weren't grabbing Yeah, because snorting pixie comments. sticks were tame to begin with. Compared to what things elevated to later <laughs> on in life, with certain people as we go, that may have been the gateway drug for them. <laughs> Just saying. So, yeah. But it's, it's, it's funny yet stupid the things you used to do with candy. But you wonder why I have so much, such an issue with candy now. The gateway drug. <laughs> yeah, it all is. <laughs> but no, like, because we, when, when I was at Hy-Vee today, I was, again, like you, I was looking for candy. So you can't just blame me. I was looking at candy. I went down the holiday section, which, thank God, hy vees is like 16 feet long, four, four by four sections. And I'm just like, this is all shit. And I don't like chocolate either. So I'm just kind of sitting there like, uh. Hearts, 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 great. Cinnamon, I don't like cinnamon. Flavored candy, tastes disgusting. Couldn't find anything worth a damn except for this big ass box of like high end caramel chocolates. I was like, all right, you got me. <laughs> I like caramel. <laughs> Let's go. Didn't get it because it was 30 bucks. I was like, fuck you. Gosh. Box of chocolate. I think it was like Russell Stover's even, which we don't, we won't buy Russell Stover's from the store because we can just go an hour west and hit up Russell Stover's factory. Stover's. Yeah. And like, it's like fresh off the line type. And they had the mismatch bags, which are like six bucks and you just get a pound of chocolate. They're ugly, but I don't give a fuck. They all go down the same. 
but my food still can't touch. I don't care how it all assembles down my gut. <laughs> we'll start on that again. Oh, we'll do that for another episode. When summer's coming, so I'm sure we'll have another episode about it. Yeah, we will. But no, like it it's one of the few holidays too where like if you go February fifteenth or even February fourteenth and you go to get the holiday special, meaning the candy is already obsolete technically, so it's rolled back or it has heavily discounted. That shit does not move. Mm. Even super heavily discounted, it does not move. And I've worked the candy sections at places like Walmart and Target even, and they just never moved. I'm one of the few that established the seasonal sections inside of Walmart back when they went from just being an aisle to a whole fucking middle section. Now it's a whole beast of itself. But Valentine's sucked. Probably King would be, honestly, Halloween, followed by Thanksgiving. And I would not even put fucking Valentine's Day on the scale at all. Because they just don't have great candy. No, that is, no, it's fucking horrible. It's either suckers, the chocolate, or the cho- the chalk hearts, it's just like after that, it's fucking nasty or chocolate. It's just fucking nasty. I don't like I don't like any of it. Granted, all, all they do is they, they obviously repackage everything else in a pink, red, yeah. or some type of Valentine's based uh, decor for it. But obviously, it changes the taste of it. But the way that it that they laid it all out, none of that shit was there. Like it was all gone, and no one hadn't been picked over nothing like that. It just was not there. It was all fucking chocolate. So no, I don't, I don't want. I don't want a gigantic tin heart with Krabby Patties in it or Door the Explorer chocolates. I don't want that. You shut your mouth. You did not find Door the Explorer chocolate. I will take a picture and send it to you. Now, there's no way she's still relevant. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, she is. So the the other thing, like if there's a trolley one, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll grab that one because it's, you know, sour gummy worms or whatever. That one is, again, that's all gummy stuff. If it's gummy related and it's, like you said, a brand name, more than likely going to grab that as long as it's not outrageously uh, marked up. Yeah. Because and then, I'll tell you, say all that shit gets marked up because you get a nice fucking tin can that's going to end up in the trash in three or four days. <laughs> that's cute. You because think mine worthless. ends up in the trash and not in my kid's playroom. Now, this is not the. Uh, the Christmas cookie tin where your grandma no. put the sewing kit and everything else. No, it's the fucking hard uh, tin You can mean the sewing tin that may or may yeah. not have cho- cookies in it. Yeah, it never has cookies in it. You can buy it from the store, go home, and it says it's a sewing kit. There's some yeah. cookies in there. It's a myth. <laughs> it's there to play with your emotions. <laughs> it's, it's funny it's you mentioned that one of all of them because uh, this, this past Christmas, so we went to Walmart. It's very few times we go. And I saw that tin of cookies and my kids saw it. And they're like, oh, what's this? I was like, oh, well, it's, it's supposed. I said, it's supposed to have, <laughs> it's supposed to have cookies in it. And my daughter's like, okay, what else is this supposed to have? Well, ours always had sewing kit stuff in it. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. <laughs> like just to look at disgust. I don't want it then. My son's over there. I want it. I want cookies. And I literally tried so hard talking about, hey, let's just pick this up. Pick this up. And then we can move the, the, the stuff of like the sewing stuff I have and we can move into the thing. Can't she? We're not fucking 80 years old. We're not doing that. We can get it, but you're going to eat the cookies and you're going to throw them away. I was like, I don't know what these cookies taste like. I don't think I've ever legitimately had one of these cookies from this tin can. If I have, I never saw them in the tin can because they've always been sewing supplies in there. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get it. Let's say I like the, I, the cookies are good. I like the cookies. Now, again, they don't ever come out of the can. Now I bought the off brand, same color can, but not the same as that cookie at Menards. They didn't have the sugar on them. Like yeah. The ones at, at Walmart or anywhere else. And I was mad at myself because I bought that one. I'm like, I bought this and this tin can's going to sit here now. They finished them. They're just shortbread style cookies, but we threw them away. Threw away the can. Can's gone. I made sure it fucking went in the trash. <laughs> and I was like, man, I have to get the other one. Well, by the time 
when Christmas ended and everything else, that was gone. You can still find those. Oh, I hear it. Well, yeah, you can find anything on Amazon. I just meant like in stores. They're well, not holiday I seen based. Them in stores. Well, around but... here they are. At least I haven't seen. Well, so is Mountain Dew, apparently. <laughs> Which kind of Mountain Dew? They're like Billy Bob. I'm Billy Bob. <laughs> you just get home in Kansas, that's it. Well, that pisses me off. So fucking much. But no. <laughs> I will say I will say. Halloween does have the best. And there's argument to be made that, that Christmas is up there and probably surpasses Halloween. But Halloween has to have the best just simply for the pure fact of the season it is. You can create any type of any type mm-hmm. of like Halloween themed. Oh, it's an eyeball, it's a skeleton, it's a skull, whatever. You can get away with all the nasty flavors. Uh, Voodoo Mountain Dew, looking at you. Skittles, looking at you. Nasty fucking flavors. Uh, but Skittles had their Halloween... Uh, what, what was it called? Zombie Skittles, I think? Where they may be very nasty Skittles flavored, or maybe a sweet Skittles. Yeah. I, I buy those fuckers every year. I hate myself for it, too. <laughs> like, well, how bad is it going to be this year? Hmm. Oh, shit. Not put a whole handful in my mouth. <laughs> bad as last year. Not good at all. Not good. <laughs> Whereas, like, the Voodoo Mountain Dew is, is hit and miss. It's just typically, I guess, the syrup flavor. Oh, it yeah. tastes like you, you just soaked a bunch of Skittles in Mountain Dew. I'm not hating it. I'm not arguing that's bad. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying it's super sweet. And it's coming from me, who has a massive sweet tooth. Yes. So, but I think Christmas is shit. I don't like Christmas candy too much either. Halloween's where I live. I can see that. I know we've talked about it before, but there's like we have our seasonal go tos for candy or snacks in, in any way. I mean, I have I have my Christmas one that you tried to shit on, and I'm I meant to punch you when you were here for that one too, and I didn't do it. You shit on my on my Christmas tree cakes, you bastard. Those so it's, are by far the worst. No, the you're not, you cannot even fucking finish the statement because it's not true. It's they're so amazing. bad. They're no, so they're terrible. So I have two it, boxes sitting it's, right up here. It's, still. it's so super artificial that it tastes artificially artificial. It is so bad. You're misusing the word amazing. That's artificial. Bad. It's Listen, amazing. your hearing aid kicked out. I didn't say amazing. That's what you meant to say. No, they're no. I'm, they're they're amazing. amazingly horrible. It's no, amazing no, how no. bad they actually are. No. And the fact that, that people are buying these shitty little tree cake snacks and making no. ice cream or special fucking dessert with like... I'm not saying anything nasty. Shit. I'm just trying to straight out the packets are great. Well, no, I'm not trying to I'm make just ice saying, cream I'm just saying that the shit. platitude that this stupid, disgusting little tree snack has, the fact that people went from, I'm just going to take it out of the wrapper and eat it, to check out how I make this ice cream. Mm-hmm. Watch me make this lasagna out of it. No, fuck that. It's disgusting. Lasagna. <laughs> yeah, there was somebody on TikTok <laughs> who literally took the trees and she made a lasagna cake. She didn't want to call it layered cake, so don't fucking get me started on that semantics. Okay, like, <laughs> but it's lasagna. She smushed them all down and rolled it out. So where they're all kind of like just coagulated together. Not the right word, but it's disgusting. I don't like it. Uh, and then it's just one sheet of this cake. And then she puts like some Cool Whip, some chocolate, some sprinkle shit, and another layer of this nasty treat sheet. And then she does it like three or four times. I was like, Ugh. Ugh. like that cat that's on TikTok that he smells something. He goes, Whoosh. yeah, that was my like, instant. <laughs> just watches. Nope. Like, the people who like those little snacks, something chemically that's not right. right in your head. We do a podcast together. So obviously there's things wrong with both of us. Now, if you're looking at, do you, do you eat any of the little Whoa. Debbie snacks or anything? Whoa. Like those at all? Whoa. Now you're offended. I'm Air Force. Force. Ain't nothing wrong with me. (laughs) (laughs) Plenty wrong with you. You? You better watch your mouth. You show your face in here. I'll get my butler to kick your ass. 
and not in my AC house either. <laughs> you tell me, is there any little Debbie snacks or treats? I don't know what the hell to really consider them as. Snack cakes. Let you, so. let you eat. Snack cakes, whatever. Let you eat. Not that I like, go out of the way to get, no. You will not eat a Twinkie. No. The fuck is and, wrong with and what, you? And what's weird, or not you weird, funny, whatever. You American, Listen. uncultured. Bitch, I was born in there goes to Spain. There ain't nothing American about it. And I have an on base. Explains it. <laughs> it. Explains everything. Cultured fuck. <laughs> Listen, okay. I, I, so prior to recently, like prior to, I think, September, October timeframe, 2023, the last time I had a Twinkie, probably mid 90s. And then we were just, we never had them in the house because they were, not good for us. It's, you know, parents cared a lot about our health, blah, 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 blah. They're also not great. And then my mother in law bought a big box of them for my kids. And my, we went over, I went over to go pick them up, and my son had one. He's like, I don't want any more. Here you go. So I ate it. I was like, oh, it wasn't bad, but it's also like slightly stiff because the fuckers had it for like three, four hours. So the outside was starting to get a little crunchy. So I was like, hey, can I have one? I just wanted to like taste a quote unquote fresh one. <laughs> Grabbed it. I probably ate half of it, three quarters of it in one bite. I was like, oh, oh, I don't like the sponge cake. Mm, no, 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 I don't like this. Took the, the filling out. I was like, mm, it's not bad. But that sponge cake, that, that's what did it in for me. It's just not very good, but no. The closest I would say I, I would get, um, I used to say have a thing. butter, we're fucking done. <laughs> no. We're fucking done if you say nut like, butter. You... I don't like nut butters. Um, the, the closest one I can think of like that I have gotten recently, again, mostly for the kids, is Cosmic Brownies. I was gonna, I was gonna fucking say Cosmic Brownies. But, but like, even then, it's, it's one of those things of I will take a bite, it's like, that's enough for me. It's they're fucking rich. That's an understatement. <laughs> they are rich. Like it's it's one of those like my anytime my kids have it, I make them split one, mm -hmm. and they each get half. And most of the time, they'll each finish half, or they'll finish all, and they'll complain that their stomach's upset. Um, but a while ago, my daughter took one to school for a sack lunch, and she brought home back half, and she's like, I don't want it anymore. Nobody else wanted it. I said, why am I going to throw this shit away? And it's not going to be good here in like a day or two when she has another sack lunch because the brownie's going to harden. Whatever. I popped that whole bitch in my mouth. <laughs> Biggest mistake of that month. I popped in, bit down. I was like, oh, it's not too bad. And I was like, oh. Again, I don't drink. I don't drink milk. I don't like the taste of milk. I think milk tastes sour. I think it tastes like bad, bad milk, like it's gone spoiled. So I don't like milk. But at that point, I was like, I need milk to get this fucking <laughs> flavor out of my mouth. And I full on just opened the jug and just like chugged it. And I was like, oh, that was terrible. Not just because I, the milk wasn't bad, but to me, milk tastes spoiled. I was like, oh, spoiled tasty milk on top of this very, very rich cosmic brownie. Just no, I don't, I don't. Uh, I'm more of candy. Like you give me my hard candies, my gummies, my caramels. Like we're good. You bring me a snack cake. I'll eat it. I won't eat those trees because I know they're disgusting. Like, I can't do it. The frosting's bad. The the cake itself is bad. The filling's bad. There ain't nothing redeemable. That's redeemable. I almost spilled water, all right. water all over my desk. Oatmeal oh, no, cream pie. No, but that's my wife's favorite. Okay, so at least she's she's cultured. She's good. She was born here in Kansas, so <laughs> okay. I'll Fudge eat them. Say it one time. Fudge round. No. You know what it is. She looks like very confused. Well, because I'm like, is this the the one that? It's like the chocolate of? sandwich. It's like a chocolate sandwich, pretty much. It's just like the oatmeal cream pie, but chocolate. Uh, like, I'm thinking about yeah, the one that looked like zebra cakes. Uh, no, I won't touch those. Won't touch them. Swiss rolls. God no. 
the fuck no. is wrong? I hate you. Oh my god, no. Like, I'm so many... So, I think Swiss cake rolls are worse than your tree cakes. Oh my god, I hate you so, so much. I hate you. I can't... I hate you. I, I, I'm loathing you right now. You're so loathing much. me right now? Oh, uh, loathing. That's sweet. I'm not going to uh, reciprocate it, but... Just a hostess cupcake. No. I've eaten them. I don't like them. I just don't know. Oh, there's, really, there's really no one asking you anything else. So. Uh, Did you the eat the old... fruit pies? Oh, like yeah. the apple fruit pie? Well, yeah, I'll eat those. You like those? Now, how far I'll eat you them. go outside of apple? I'll try the fruit ones. Apple's my go-to. If I, if I had to pick like a fruit pie one, I'd go with apple. Now, a lot of people don't realize that they used to be sold in like a, the wax yeah. package, and they were about that fucking big. Yeah, and you but, can microwave them or put them in the oven, yeah, and they'd be good. Good. But anything outside of apple, I wouldn't touch because it's literally just a bunch of shit thrown in like lemon. Lemon's fucking disgusting. Cherry is gross. Yeah. Listen, okay. Here's the thing. I had one of those lemon ones recently oh, with... No, no. Gosh. It wasn't by itself. Uh, Listen, it wasn't by itself. Um, I think it was Dollar Tree had just an individual one. I bought it or I think either for myself or the kids, whatever. But I remember I discovered it like a month or two after buying it. I was like, whatever. Uh, but I was having a glass of whiskey. I was like, oh, I I did an old fashioned. So there's whiskey and it has hints of oranges. I didn't do orange this time. I did lemon instead. I was like, oh, this lemon cake would go well with it. Oh, yeah. Well, one, you drink enough, anything goes well. <laughs> True. Because it started off, I was like, ugh, this is not good. <laughs> Finished my glass of whiskey. I was like, I like this. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but to answer your your question, let me pull this picture up. Pull this up. Come on, pull the browser up. Okay, not over really? that. Well, yeah, I decided to pull up on top of me. Let's see. Nope, never eaten. Or not never. I guess I shouldn't say that. That's a long word. Oh, Swiss cake rolls, hate them, cupcake, hate them, cosmic brownies, take a bite. Uh, cupcakes, both chocolate. Star crunch. There was a time I could get behind <laughs> some star crunch because that's just that's just crispy rice cereal with caramel Pretty and much. chocolate. Oh, I haven't had one of those in several years, so I can't speak on it. I will go buy a box, though, and let you know tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's it's not come to that. Like, oh, I have to go buy a box now. They sell them individually. You fat fuck. Not at Hy-Vee, they don't. Well, they, the gas stations they do. I'm and not gonna. It's I'm, not, I'm not gonna pay two fifty for a single Star Crunch when no. I can go to Hy-Vee and pick up a box of Star Crunch for two fifty. And eat the whole box. Oh, these are these are not good at all. But I eat the whole box. Well, the kids can eat them. Uh, oh, yeah. I hate ding dongs. Ho-hos hate them. Zingers had a thing for them back in high school. Tried them recently, like in the last two weeks. Uh, they're disgusting. I don't know why the I thought they were good. good. Um, the other ones are fucking gross. Coffee cake ones. If I have it with coffee, it's, it's like, okay, I guess. The, the snowballs. I don't like that. No, shouldn't be made. Fucking disgusting. I don't like coconuts, but Should snowballs. Um... What is this one? Crunch? Peanut butter crunch? Not bad. They have a caramel crunch one. Again, oh, I the caramel one is what gets it. It's good because it's a thin wafer cookie with chocolate and caramel. Perfect. Um, Old people love them. Oatmeal or like raisin, raisin something. I can't. Hey, you, you lost me at raisin. Yeah. I, I, like, I don't know what this one is. I haven't seen it. It's a teal box with raisin written on it. I can't make out all the words. No. Yeah, sure. just, I'm not a big honey buns. You talked to me like 15 years ago. Whew. Honey buns. And, I'm not even going to finish a drink. A honey bun and a specific <laughs> drink. I go to. And I blame my football coach for it. <laughs> so good. Um, I don't touch them anymore. Yeah, I don't. I need I don't. Drink now. No, we're good. <laughs> Banana twins. Absolutely disgusting. Artificial banana is nasty. What the hell is a banana twin? I don't even know what that is. 
uh, banana gonna, cake I with need, filling with banana I cake. To, okay, I need to careful when I Google this. <laughs> Type in Little Debbie. In the <laughs> banana twins. Twins. Okay, thank you. I'm like someone like a banana twin with a bunch of dicks on my screen. I'm like what the fuck? Are you, have you, like you, at? you have like you porn pop up and be like, oh, I'm like oh shit, what are you looking at? I don't know who's eating that. Oh, is that a what the hell? The strawberry shortcake rolls. Those are okay. I, I like those. Mm. But that's also one like it comes in a two pack. I will eat one of them and then save the other one for like a week later. So again, yeah, no, it's... whatever little Debbie uses for their 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 pastry, so to speak, is not great cake pastry. It's it's, it's, supposed, it's supposed to last to the Holocaust and everything else. I don't think Holocaust is the right word you're looking for. It, it made it through. Yeah, that's what they made it for. No, Holocaust oh. is not the word I was looking for. Apocalypse <laughs> was what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, like, I was like, okay, uh, well, well, this from. is where we're going, right here. All right. Yeah. And Frank was, was mounted down on him, so we're good. Okay, hey. I know we talked about this uh, like a few episodes ago, but the You Should Know podcast. Have you seen the episode where he's talking to the guy? And he's like, so I just saw that Amelia Earhart or not Amelia Earhart. Sorry. Um, and Frank there. That's who it was. Did you know Anne Frank flew? And the gentleman's like, isn't he? Isn't she the one that was stuck up in the closet or in the attic? How did she fly a plane? He's like, what? The dude literally thought. And Frank. <laughs> he got the mixed up. But anyways. When they started explaining that Anne Frank was the child that was hiding up in the attic during World War II and and not Helen Keller. And that Helen Keller was a deaf mute. Like he's like I thought they were the same person. Like I was like, mm. every time the You Should Know podcast releases a clip, it makes me question our educational system so much. To a point I'm like you should not be allowed to drive. <laughs> you like just to dabble in the realm of like <laughs> thou shall not speak about. He should not be allowed to do anything inside of that allows any type of uh, laws or rules to be made. He he should not be allowed in that one because <laughs> oh my god. There. Look up jellyfish cookies by Little Debbie. Uh, okay. Again, I put Little Debbie with some jellyfish cookies. Come That's up. why I said little by Little Debbie. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't touch these. Jelly, jellyfish cookies. Jellyfish cookies. They look like, uh, wanna be macaroons. Those look fucking disgusting. I thought that was super right. artificial. There's no way they will. Can't click Wait, on really it, it doesn't let me. Coral reef cakes. Doesn't pop up anything when I click on it. Seashell brownies, starfish, those are those those can't be real. Okay, never mind, you buy a burger. So rush out now and grab your jellyfish cookies. Uh you can buy them on this website. Oh, well, they're real. Oh, that's shit. Oh, they're old school. These are like they're old school. Old, old school. Well, somebody said you can buy this uh, once. Last time these were released was in 2014. Prior to that, these are a 60s and 70s snack. Really? According to this website I'm on, Dinosaur Dracula. Mm. Yeah, weird. Uh, God, there's still... the, the jellyfish cookies often were referred to as oil cakes. Oil cakes? Not a great, you know, selling point. But no, it's like little Debbie's known for Valentine's and seasonal snacks, and they're all disgusting. So if you they're like, all if you like no. the stupid fucking piece of shit Christmas tree ones, you probably would also like the Valentine's edition one, where it's a heart. No, they're lie. all nasty. They I all taste lie. disgusting. I refuse to buy all of them because they're fucking nasty. I will. I, I, will I don't buy, buy my Christmas ones. That's it. You know, it's funny, this is like the first time, because I'm, I'm starting to think about everything I'm saying. I'm starting to oh, sound finally. like... No. 
Not in that capacity. <laughs> if this was about candy, I would sound like a total fucking fat ass. Right now, it sounds like I'm a pretentious prude who has a health kick. <laughs> it's like, mm, not in my house. We don't eat this shit. It's high in oil, high in set. No. <laughs> That's not the case. I'm a fat ass. Don't get me wrong. These are disgusting. <laughs> no, they're not. This is like my 600 pound life level fat ass. <laughs> Like, Dr. Now is going to show up in your background and say you've been approved for bypass surgery or whatever. The lap band surgery? Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, you don't have to lose any weight. You just, they'll just approve you right now. But I don't, my stomach. I don't eat any of these. And that's so weird because, like, this is... This is, like, iconic junk food type mm -hmm. snack. Because when I even when people like oh I, I like this junk food or what junk food do you have, I will correct I will correct everybody who's like I don't have junk food, I have candy. Like <laughs> there's a difference, different category. Yeah. I don't have these snack cakes oh, in yeah. my house. But no, I don't. I don't consider candy junk food. It's just it's, it is what it is. It's candy. That means. But no, those, those snack cakes are are junk food, hands down. Yeah. I'm I'm. I'm going to buy some Star Crunch. Hmm. <laughs> How it starts. Oh. First taste is free. Come back for some more. Some Twinkies. <laughs> I, can't, I can't handle it. Uh, I'm not addicted. I don't care about 12 boxes. I'm fine. I can good. quit whenever I want. I can quit. I don't need your support. I can do this all by myself. I don't need AA. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> What about cookies? Do you guys eat cookies in the house? All right, listen. When you're saying you guys, yes, collectively. I'm incorporating everybody in. The I know, yeah. but the answer That's is different you. though. When you include and everyone, gutter palate. When you eat, when you include everyone, it's a drastically different answer than. Does your fat ass just eat them? Because it's a different answer. <laughs> okay. Do you eat cookies? In not like, really. Is your, do, not really. Okay, see, that's why I put everybody, because I didn't think you did. If you're not eating the cakes, I didn't think you ate cookies. I really didn't think you did. I mean, you're not wrong, but yeah, like, it's... Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm very, like, it sounds weird, but I'm very meticulous about the junk food. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> The junk food I eat? I don't know. Like, I, I, This is going to sound like an episode where I'm a very pretentious health freak. I'm not. Have a very refined palate. No, yeah, of gutter. That's what it is. You're the one eating gutter shit like those tree no, snacks. No, no. Shut I'm your about, mouth. I'm honest about what I eat. You and your pretentious gutter palate. I don't want to hear it. I'm honest about what I eat. I'm just letting you know you I don't fucking, eat that shit. You fucking trash panda. <laughs> the shit that you eat. How do you call me a trash panda when I only eat certain things? You're literally eating everything. That's the definition of a trash panda, you stupid fuck. <laughs> oh I my think... god. So, are you no on Girl Scout cookies? I will eat some Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> did I break you just like I did a Star Crunch? Okay. Well, no, because I was like, hold on. There's oh, only like now. a couple Ooh, I will bougie. eat. Here comes the... Okay. And that's fine. I'm, I'm the same way when it comes to Girl Scout cookies. I will not eat the lemon ones. They're fucking disgusting. The shortbread ones look like they're the ones made for babies. They're disgusting. But there's the God, politically correct ones, but I'm gonna say Samoans, which is the Samoas. coconut ones. Now those I will that's the coconut I will eat. It's Samoas. It's coconut one, but it's they're now they're now caramel delights, which yes, I sounds super too. fancy and like I'm on diet. So I'm gonna call them caramel delights. <laughs> so so I take it you like those ones. Yeah, that's the only way I eat coconut too. That those are probably the same way. those are probably my favorite because I'm actually on the list on Girl Scout's website to see all their flavors. Uh, Samoas, I will eat. So they have two lemons. They have a lemon up, which is a crisp lemon cookie, mm -hmm. and they have the lemonade ones. The lemonade ones are new, I believe, aren't they? Oh no, it says they've been around for a few years. Well, I don't see look that is. Girl Scout cookie or Girl Scouts are at High V this week, and we have to go through a whole different entrance because I'm weak. 
<laughs> and they really got me last year when I walked by them and they're like, do you want to buy some boxes of cookies? And I literally went again. I don't think, I don't think before I speak. I just, whatever instinct No, goes, I know, right? It's like a shocker. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I would, but I don't carry cash on me. Oh, and the okay. mom, we have Venmo cash. Yeah, the mom, without yeah, yeah. missing a beat, oh, we actually have Square, so you can just Fuck. pay us that way. I went, really? Yeah. So how much, <laughs> how much is, how much is one box? Like, you got me, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Well, one is like five dollars, but if you get two, it's discounted. If you get four, it's really discounted. We have a deal going on right now. And I was like, All right. I walked away with like eight boxes. I was like, I did not oh, need good. any of this. I mean, I don't, I don't doubt that. You, what is this one? I did not need. So to go through Adventure. the line, Adventurefuls. Adventurefuls. What the fuck is that? And okay. where's it been? So, so these are ones I have been looking for, and every time Girl Scouts comes around i get two answers either it's not our region or what? we're sold out the uh, so my, my understanding is this is state specific from what i've been told but you can also order these all online at girlscout.org that's not the point the point is getting them in the wild that's where you need to get them <laughs> like, they do taste like better if caught in the wild <laughs> you, you want to get them in the wild like pokemon gotta catch them all yes uh, exactly that's how I treat them. <laughs> I treat it more like Power World. I just abuse them. Um, in my belly. <laughs> in my belly. All these, like, man, the only ones I really eat are the Thin Mints and the Samoas. Ah, I hate Thin Mints so much. I hate mint. Like, mint cookies, mint ice cream. I fucking no, hate it. Love I, I, my, my wife loves mint ice cream. Like, mint chocolate chip. That's her... That's her thing. She loves it. I hate it. Thin mints are the only ones because it's a it's a specific chocolate. But thin mints, I can destroy a sleeve and I'm good for a really, really long time. But Samoas are my go-to and then the Tagalongs are good. But not great, I will say, because I can only eat so many Tagalongs before I'm like, all right, I've had enough. I'm done. However, hy has their Craven... Thin Mint and Craven versions of Thin Mints, Tagalongs, and Samoas. And they are, I'm going to probably get some shit for this, as good, if not better, than the Girl Scout ones. Hmm. And they're a lot cheaper, too. <laughs> Typically two for five. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay. And it's, it's right now, it's Girl Scout season, cookie season, is it? I guess, yeah. I saw them at my high V. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm now on the hunt for Adventure Fools. That's what i'm looking for yeah you eat your star crunch I'm, I'm looking for these things well, i'm looking for them too that's why i've been talking to the girl scout cookie girls when they're when they're <laughs> mommy this creep won't leave me alone <laughs> he keeps coming back saying he wants adventure fools i don't know what he's mean just walk up like this <laughs> you got any more <laughs> you got any i think they're called <laughs> i think they're called adventure fools <laughs> you got any <laughs> sir <He's right. laughs> shit Mom! I'm, um, I'm I'm having a hard time now because I've never actually looked at the, all the flavors that they have. They're There's not about everywhere. Four that I've never even heard of. The vegetables was the first one. This caramel chocolate chocolate chip. Uh, didn't know anything about this one either. Uh, I think I think that's another one that's hit and miss too. If I remember correctly, never never had it. Because again, from from my understanding, again. This all comes from talking to these Girl Scout people. Is the toastiers, the uh, lemon no, slash lemonade no, ones, the lemonades and lemon ups, those get switched. So some people will get the lemonade, some people will get the lemon ups. Uh, but toastiers, toffee tastic, uh, ventrifles, and caramel chocolate chips, those are not always around. Yeah, so they are like uh, I know one year California had had the caramel chocolate chips, and so mm -hmm. did I think Nevada and maybe Washington, Oregon. But that was it. I remember asking a bunch of buddies who have daughters, and I was like, "Is your daughter in Girl Scouts? I will buy some cookies. Do you have this? No, we can special order them. We have to ship them to your house. I don't want to fucking do that. Yeah, conversation's over. You don't have it. Okay, bye. 
<laughs> Moving on. What about these Girl Scout s'more shit? Like, that's another one I want to fucking... I think that one's I'm... new. I have not seen that one. That's... The Tossiers look... sound great. Like, yes, I want that one. The Toffee Tastic I want to try. This tree foils can burn in hell. That thing should never have been invented. That's the imprint of Girl Scout logo and shit. That's the one that should have made for babies. It's like a baby cookie. It reminds me of... Good palate cleanser. That's a, no, that's a fucking going to kids walking by. Here, eat these. Farge. <laughs> no, I'm I'm now. Yep, I'm looking now. I know I know what exact ones I'm gonna find. Um, so the peanut butter sandwich, I will buy these ones, but I think I got it from my grandpa. I will take them and put them in the freezer, and then I'll eat them. And that's and that's from my grandpa. The only thing I will not do that he did was, which is weird to me and always will be, is Snickers in the freezer. It's fucking weird. All right, hear me out. I have a choice. Snickers ice cream. Now, ice cream Amazing. Is great. It's Amazing. Great. But a frozen Snickers bar? Terrible. Breaks my teeth. I don't understand. <laughs> I've never understood it. I don't like. He did it all the time. Well, no, like I would understand the fridge because like my wife will put like. Kit Kat, Snickers, uh, Twix, mm -hmm. like chocolate. She'll put them in the fridge. And yeah. that I understand because it's like it's cold, whatever. Yeah. I don't do that. I don't think my chocolate bars tend to last past the drive home. So I'm just mm. saying. Typically, if I'm in the mood for chocolate, it's like I want chocolate right then and right there. And I want it now. I don't want to wait because in 10 to 15 minutes, I don't want it anymore. So I will yeah. satiate my cravings by eating it and being done. And then I feel bad later. I was like, ugh, chocolate. Why do I feel like this? Yeah, Steve. <laughs> Look, I need to know now. Side note, the why do I feel like this? Uh, I think we've talked about this before. Taco Bell, nothing, does nothing to me. Like a rock, right? Doesn't destroy me. Gastrointestinal-wise, doesn't destroy me. Uh, I blame you for this because ever since you and I talked about this whole like having Taco you. Bell, I blame you. Uh, my wife's been kind of on a Taco Bell kick at night, where like once a week, whatever, she's like, oh, I really want Taco Bell. It's like, okay, well, yeah, let's go get it. I'll order it and I'll go pick it up. Uh, kind of a side note to the side note. <laughs> We've stepped down yeah. multiple stairs yeah. and the side So I told you before. The Taco Bell's here. The lobby's not open. It's drive through only. That's how it's always mm -hmm. been. I guess they got new management. Or me bitching about it publicly on social media everywhere has worked. I'm going with that once where I feel good about myself. But anyways, I placed an order, <laughs> yeah. through, I placed an order for drive through like two weeks ago. And I got there. drive throughs long. And I see the lobby's open. So I called. I was like, hey, I have a pickup. Can I come in and get it? Um, and they're like, well, let me see what the name on it told them. They're like, oh no, it's set for drive through. You have to go through the drive through. I was like, well, your drive through is long. Can I park and just come in? No, you gotta go through the drive through. We won't give it to you in the lobby because that's not the method of which you chose for pickup. Your lobby's been closed for two and a half years. <laughs> so it's safe to assume your lobby was closed today. Uh, so, anyways. Can I come inside and pick them up? No, we won't give it to you. If you come inside, you have to go to the drive through. All right, you fucking asshole. Whatever. Bye. Click. I didn't cancel my order. Walked in and ordered it. Nah, I already went through. It was, it was, I should have, because then I actually would have got it completely free. It would have been double charge at the exact same time. <laughs> should have thought about that. But anyways, See? so we did talk about, and then probably like three nights ago, uh, asked my wife we didn't have dinner with the kids we weren't hungry at all and she's like i really i really just want bk i was like okay fine whatever we can do that door dash it uh because the closest bk now is four and a half miles on the other side of town they have closed the other two by us one skiing converted to a beef a roux i don't know i don't know <laughs> It hasn't opened yet. It's been in building status for like two years. But anyways, so order BK. Uh, I really didn't know I wanted like at all. And they didn't have. Show me all you want. They didn't have the impossible burger, which is the only thing I kind of like at 
BK. I don't like their meat. So I was like, whatever. They didn't have that. Try for the King stacker or whatever. The wannabe Big Mac. They didn't have that anymore. It's like, ah, fine. I ordered a Junior Bacon Burger. Like the one with all the bacon on it. Ordered a small bacon sandwich. Burger, like one patty, one slice of cheese, bacon. That's important to know. One patty. Yeah, food and everything. And I opened up mine. It should have been about like, you know, yay big. About that thick. This fucker was about yay big. That fucking thick. No. <laughs> it was four patties. And so much fucking bacon. Like, I wasn't hating on it. But I was like, this is not what I ordered at you know, all. Your wife's like, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> what did she, you get? She's like, I thought you thought you weren't hungry. I was like, I wasn't that hungry. I didn't order this. So I had to go back through the app and look. And it says small, single patty. And she goes, huh. You're going to eat all of it? I was like, I'm going to try. I, say, I, mean, I bet you ate the whole thing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, Not if I got sick. I, I ate about I ate about halfway, and I could you could hear it. Like even my wife's like, "This is gonna be a rough night." I was like, "Yeah, you hear." I like, like hunching over. Yeah, you and your head like, "I'm gonna eat this whole thing." The stomach, the the fuck you are. No, I was like, I was like, okay, I've had enough. It's fine. And I got I got the onion rings. It's really just been craving onion rings. So I eat them. Well, I'm just kind of waiting for my stomach to settle, and it settles. It's like, okay, okay. I'm just, I just want like one more bite. I want to make sure I'm full. I ended up eating pr probably just over half, less than two thirds, like you know, sixty percent type thing. And I put it down the wrapper. I was like, I'm so fucking done. I wrap it up and everything. I was like, I like, I have the sweats. I don't feel good. I may have cleared out the entire room. Like it was just so bad. And I was in so much pain. And of course, I get ready to throw it in a bag to throw it away. And my wife's like, oh, I'll take that. I was like, I'm sorry, you gonna fucking eat this? <laughs> like, you just ate a Whopper, like a big Whopper. And you want my bacon -na baconator or whatever it's called? And she's like, no, I just want the sauce. So she opened my patties to wipe the mayo and uh, ketchup off to dip her french fries in. Like, oh, and she tried to bite, single bite. She's like, no. Yo, this is bad. <laughs> she did not like me the rest of the night. <laughs> like, I, w I even, I even like tucked the blankets in on myself, so we're like, it would all stay on my side. Conceal it. <laughs> <laughs> Conceal it. Don't feel it. That's what. That's what Elsa taught me. But anyway, so, <laughs> so I just tucked it in. I stayed, kept it on my side, and she decided she wanted to cuddle, so she ripped the blanket. <laughs> she ripped the blanket. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> just, uh, just air blasted. <laughs> oh! <the> fuck? <laughs> she's, she's like, why do you smell so bad? Light a candle. I was like, I don't think that's safe. I don't think that's a good idea. This is very <laughs> like it was so just so bad. And she, I was like, hey, remember, I told you I didn't want Burger King. I told you I take literally anything else. Yeah, but you yeah, want a whopper. It's like you want a whopper. You, you ate the fucking annihilator from Burger <laughs> They gave it to me. I had to. Okay. What are you gonna call? Hey, you gave me too big of a burger. I wanted a small. You gave me an extra, extra large. Yeah, I would have apologized and probably credited you back. Oh, I got my money back for it. That's fine. Yes. <laughs> you get your money's worth. Shit. Oh, the, yeah. you, could, you could have also taken patties off and just had the, the single patty. But no, I, I understand you saw the challenge there and accepted <laughs> it. You knew your fate. You're like, oh, challenge accepted. But this is also Let's why like this. this is also why I don't eat eat their whoppers at all because they're they're whatever their patties are made of and don't say beef. I know it's made out of beef. The seasoning or whatever whoppers don't sit well with me. Burger King beef does not Obviously. sit well with me. At all. Well, like Taco Bell, you know, the stuff that's meant for geriatric people like yourself and I, like just <laughs> doesn't do anything to me. I could eat Taco Bell for days on end and my stomach's just like, like a vault. Nuts is getting out of me. Eat Burger King. It's like, <laughs> house gone. Dog leaves. It's so bad. Ugh. 
No, yet, no I haven't. I don't. I don't eat Burger King. I will not eat Burger King. The kids don't really ask for it either. So I, we talked about. It. I don't, Wendy's. They don't ask for it. It's always McDonald's. Yeah. I if they want it, I won't eat it. I can't. I can't stand Burger King. I'll eat Hardee's more than anything else. But Taco Bell. Um, I'm starting to catch on. To, I love. I love Taco Bell. Talked about it a thousand times. You um, catch on to what? The fact that it's the same fucking seven ingredients repurposed uh, over a thousand ways. My, I don't know if I told you, but on my on my birthday, I don't know if I talked about it or not. But they were they wanted to go to some fancy dinner. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. I want to talk about. I got looked at like. Are you serious? Yes. So like, look, if I had it my fucking good. way, it would be Taco Bell, some Coronas, and in my basement, playing some Call of Duty. Yes, okay. that's what I want. So now. Anytime they're like talk about tacos or anything else, great, you know. Somebody else oh, in the house. Yeah. Born yeah. and raised in Mexico. We have had when it comes to tacos, that's not considered tacos. In my head, I'm like, that's not tacos. I've had authentic everything else. Like that's I'm not going Taco to Bell is not force Mexican food. you. I'm not gonna no, it's not. No, no way at all. So she's like, Oh, you know, we can get Taco Bell. Like, you don't like it. Like I'm not going to I'm not gonna make you have that. Like you don't have to get that. Like you don't like it. I know you don't like it. And I feel like an asshole, like even buying it for you because, like, these aren't real tacos, and I can't do that. Like, I, I don't know, is it semi-racist when I'm giving you tacos? Like, it's not the right thing to do. Like, I can't do this. You, you may say it's okay, but in the back of my head, I'm like, she's gonna kill me if I give her a taco. But like, she does like it. But I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not falling for it. You go buy it. I'm not buying it. You go buy it and bring it home. Cool. I'm not doing it. I'm not falling for your trap. Anytime we talk about like if we want like Mexican food, both of us mm-hmm. instinctually know we Taco Bell's not on that menu. Like that's not, oh, yeah, not, no, not Mexican. Uh we talk about like the ones that are operated uh by Latinos and everything. And they typically we'll go to the place in and where my mother in law lives because they have a tiny little hole in the wall Mexican restaurant that is fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. And honestly could rival a lot of restaurants down on the border in texas uh i've never been to mexico i up until two years ago i haven't been allowed to go to mexico because of my clearance i held but anyway so really great i'm like yeah let's go get tacos I'm like we're not driving 10 minutes just to get tacos no you're not driving 10 minutes to get tacos <laughs> i will drive an hour to go get tacos like there's no limit to my my taco drive but now that we, you, have a little, have... we have a little place here in town that's run by the cousins or second cousins, whatever, other guys 10 miles away. And they got the, I'm going to butcher it, the burrito, taco, burrito tacos. Oh, my God. Video? Oh. Video like, tacos are amazing. He's like, it's, do you want spice? Like, do you want regular spice? Do you want white spice? Or do you want, like, real spice? <laughs> So I again, me me being who I am and knowing what I know on a global scale, I was like, I'm not your average white guy. I was like, can I try, like, can I? Have, is it possible to get like your spice and your spiciest? He's he's like, uh, <laughs> went to the kitchen, told the guy something. He goes, yeah, we do that for you. I said, like, cool, awesome. I will take your your regular spice, your house spice as they called it, and whatever the spiciest one that you have. Uh, white spice is black pepper is the way he described yeah. it. I was like, yeah, that sounds about right because it's fucking black yep. pepper everywhere else in the world. Mm-hmm. So I tried the house spice. It tastes like jalapeno. So I was like, oh, okay, it has a little kick too. It's not bad. And I used their spicy uh, verde sauce and I was like, ooh, hold on. <laughs> that verde sauce is fucking... <laughs> But it wasn't like it wasn't like knock your teeth out. Just spicy should be spicy. Like it's still flavorful. So I was like, mm-hmm. it's really good. So finished that. Needed more tortillas to eat the meat in the other bowl. And he's like, he's like, is everything fine? I was like, yeah, that was really good. I'm gonna try the spicy now. That verde sauce was amazing. Love it. Spicy, but love it. He goes, you ha- you not try try other bowl? No, because you said it was the spiciest so i thought i'd be smart and start with the spicy one and then work my way up to the spiciest <laughs> was i wrong in doing so he's like no 
No. Keep on. There's only like two other people in this restaurant, and both of them fucking look, uh, you know, South American, Central American. So they don't. They're not fucking white, is what I'm saying. And <laughs> there's only two fucking white people there. Here's my ass, and they're just over there in the corner. Speaking Spanish, I can't understand fully. I was like, they're talking about me. I heard, I, I heard it. I heard the name. So, Let's just stupid white boy eat this. He's going to cry. Best part. Picked up the the beef that was in there. Sopped it down in some tortilla. Put the toppings and everything. Dipped it in the sauce. And just took a bite. I was like, oh, this is good. Like, it's not spicy. Like, it's not spicy, <laughs> spicy. I was like, okay. And you start feeling the heat build up everything. I was like, oh. And it was one of those like my wife always like questions myself when I had this stupid look on my face because she's like, are you okay? Does this not agree with you? And I was like, okay, cool. And he, I instantly saw the chef also just kind of peek his head out. I was like, these fucking people are watching me. God damn it. (laughs) But anyways, I literally finished and I was like, this is really good. It was it was hot. It was spicy, but it was still very flavorful. So they counteracted. Mm-hmm. And he comes over. He's like, "How was? How was everything?" I was like, "Dude, this was amazing. This is like the best, uh, best dish I've ever had. Uh, I've never also never tried this dish either." And I was like, "This is really good." Well, yes, it's very spicy. I've had curry that was spicier. He just, uh, you you want to try something? I was like. <laughs> there's always something so I was like yeah sure what do you got he's got uh, we got house made salsa dipping salsa mm, I was like oh yeah. for chips he goes or taco I was like okay so he went and got a little house taco just regular beef cheese and all that and he's like try this dude that thing was so fucking spicy <laughs> and just kind of put yeah, it in perspective probably- how stupid I am <laughs> <laughs> he gave me the bowl, you know, the little bowl everyone steals from a restaurant. I poured that on my, I poured on my taco. I took a big old bite, big old bite. I went, oh, it was so goddamn spicy to the point, like my face just cinched down. I start sweating, and he's just like, "You okay?" I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like drinking my Dr Pepper or whatever, just trying to like cool it down. Doesn't fucking help because it's soda. And nope. And of course, my wife's like, are you going to die? Like, oh, my God. Yes, yes, I am. It's so spicy. And he's like, oh, this, lava. this this has like ghosts and scorpion and uh, another yes. pepper. And I was just like, oh, OK. I was like, what is it? He's like, yeah, seven of the world's hottest spi- uh, peppers. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I feel like yeah, there should be a no. disclosure agreement here. It's the same thing. It's like any house made salsa or dipping salt. Yeah. Oh, it's always super like, spicy. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. But yeah with that said, it was still good. Don't pour a fucking lot. You just you just dip the tip. You just dip the tip and you've been fine. You don't pour the whole fucking thing on the entire damn taco and go, well, fuck, I'm fucked now. I have to eat the whole goddamn thing. It's saturated <laughs> tortilla, dude. But it's still good. Like I definitely walked away with the sweats. I was just mm-hmm. pouring down and we were gonna go see a movie. I was like, no, we're not. <laughs> The fuck we are. We're gonna go home because of this. I don't think it's gonna sit well here in about twenty minutes. And if I'm gonna pay twenty dollars to go see a movie, I'm gonna watch at least ninety eight percent of it, not yeah. just two. Oh yeah. We're gonna go back there this Friday. They they were kind of I wouldn't say impressed, but they were shocked that a white guy could handle heat. And then they got a little mad when I said I've had curries, curry curry that's spicier than this. Oh. Kind of like went, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that was accepted. Here, check this one out. We made this. Here you go, stupid first gringo. Single, Try it. The white guys to come in there. <laughs> yep. It was good. I mean, he got a really good tip. He got a really good tip, actually. Like, <laughs> more than I normally did. But, yeah. Now we just go there anytime we want tacos for real, real Mexican. <laughs> but it's ta- we only get Taco Bell when it's like kind of like this time right now where it's like 9 10 o'clock maybe 11 o'clock at night and yeah. it's just we should probably just go to bed and not eat anymore but we're enablers to each other so or i should i guess i should say i am because i will ask my wife I was like hey so you want anything Are you hungry you little peckish could you eat 
It's like, oh yeah, such and such that Taco Bell sounds good. It's typically like their chips and cheese or their Cinnabon delight desserts. You know, nothing like actual meal worthy wise. I was like, oh, I'll order those for you. Yeah, well, what were you going to get? Get a box. <laughs> One or two in a box. There's like three items in the box plus a drink. Maybe four. The box, I get the, the I think they're called deluxe boxes now, so they get a total of like five or six items inside of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with myself, too. It's not hard to get that. Where I'm just all, I, I think I could do that, honestly, right now. is just text my wife and be like, hey. Hey, you want Taco Bell? Yeah, I'd be like, you want Taco Bell? <laughs> and she'd probably, do you have enough for it? Yeah. <laughs> I got enough. <laughs> you want to do it? Yeah. So I expect to get a picture of Taco Bell at your doorstep here in the next 45 minutes. No. Liar. No. 30 minutes. They get there quick. They do not get there quick because <laughs> don't know if the lobby's open or not. I'm not gonna go out and drive. I'm already in my I'm already in my my comfy pants. Now you're goddamn mind if you think I'm gonna go get that. Let me tell you what the wait time is. Because <laughs> now you now you want it. No, because it is it is forty five to sixty five minutes. Wait time. Damn. Keep in mind, time. it's only like quarter mile down the street. <laughs> it's that long. Damn, that's a long fucking time. Our talk, yeah, because the lobby's not open. Oh, Never what? fucking open, except for that one time. And I was fully ready to make a fool of myself in front of all those college girls too. Because I was rocking out. Uh, I was walk rocking out some very torn up Deadpool sleep pants. Like giant <laughs> hole in the crotch that you could probably f- birth a whole baby out of and not get dirty. Just it's a big <laughs> hole. They're super comfy. I refuse to throw them away. <laughs> They're my PJs. Yeah, well, don't worry. Not every, right now. Every guy. I think that's one. That'll be another episode too. But I, every guy has those those pants or pants outfit or underwear, something. Yeah. Something. Yeah, that you will. Uh, that you will wear until it deteriorates and will not fit on you anymore. Um, disintegrates. Not deteri- it completely has to disintegrate. <laughs> We're like, huh, that's weird. There was fabric, and now there's just yeah. a band. <laughs> Fucking dry it all wins, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do a whole different episode about that. Oh, um, yeah. Gist of the episode is Taco Bell apparently is amazing. Not real Mexican food, though. No, not, not your all. stupid, basic white guy. He may or may not be. I don't know. Uh, I think he is. I think he's a basic bitch, but it's fine. Uh, yeah. okay. And Valentine's Day candy sucks, but is better than the Christmas tree Little Debbie snacks. No, you shut your damn mouth. No, it's not. Not at all. And I may or may not have a star punch tomorrow. <laughs> regardless, when this bit, when this episode airs, it's gonna be like a week past Valentine's. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, candy, shit holiday. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you don't get time and a half at work. Like, sorry, a shit holiday mm-hmm. if you can't get time and a half. True. Plus eight. Yeah. But anyways, we'll wrap it up there because now we're going to get way off topic because I want, I want to talk about this clothing one now. Thanks, Ruggle. Go check us out. Every Thursday night, we play video games together. Primarily, well, okay, it's always been Call of Duty Warzone. He doesn't play anything else, so it's always Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, you can catch Ruggle over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash R-A-H-G-E-L. I almost said R A C. Never mind. Anyways, not going to do Aretha Franklin. It's fine. You can catch my whore ass over on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Kick at CyberMercSig. But other than that, yeah, catch us again. Comment, like, review. Do all the things. I had to say something for Roggle, so. <laughs> Fuck ever. <laughs> I just saw that pop up. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs>
I had to make sure I didn't forget. So I put it up. Here's fucking Rago before. It, I <laughs> be sure to check out Two Guys One Gay Pan for the merch. Uh, you want to be on the on the podcast? We'll be on that. So we'll talk about anything and everything besides religion, race, and politics. Hit us up. Let us know. We'll let you on. And then, yeah, every Thursday, check us out. Play Warzone, and that's it. Anything, everything. Warzone. That's it. That's what I play. Till then, <laughs> bye, bitch.